In recent years, the UK and Northwest Europe has experienced a run of unusually wet summers. The six summers from 2007 through to 2012 were all wetter than average. In the UK, summer 2012 was the wettest summer for 100 years, with frequent occurrences of flooding, which caused profound damage to property and some fatalities, and also caused havoc for farming and the tourism industry. At the same time we've been having these wet summers, the Arctic sea ice has been exceptionally low. The last six summers in the Arctic have seen the six lowest Arctic sea ice covers, and summer 2012 was the lowest on record, about half the ice that was there three decades ago. What this study set out to understand is whether there was any connection between this loss of Arctic sea ice and the wet summers in recent years. Summer rainfall over Europe is strongly influenced by the location of the jet stream. The jet stream is a channel of strong winds high up in the atmosphere, around 10 kilometres above the Earth's surface. These winds blow generally from west to east, but with large meanders, or wiggles, to the north and south. These strong winds steer our wet weather systems and the rain that they bring. In this animation, coloured arrows show these upper level winds. The orange and red arrows show the regions of strongest winds which make up the jet stream. The jet stream is very mobile and moves around from day to day. Sometimes it is found to the north of the UK and other times it is found to the south. This wandering of the jet stream has a big influence on our weather. The study used a climate model to investigate how the melting sea ice impacts weather in Europe. In the model we can change the sea ice in a controlled way whilst keeping other factors that are known to influence the climate constant. And in doing this we can isolate and measure what impact the sea ice has or the melting sea ice has on our weather. In the model, when the Arctic sea ice was decreased, we saw a shift towards wetter summers in the UK and over northwest Europe. And the pattern of rainfall anomalies in the model looked very similar to those we've observed in reality in recent years. This led us to the conclusion that the loss of Arctic sea ice has been one factor that's contributed to the wetter summers seen over the recent period. Normally in summer, the jet stream lies between Scotland and Iceland, and this steers weather systems to the north of the UK. What we found is that the sea, melting sea ice shifts the jet stream further to the south and that means more weather systems hit the UK and that brings more rain. While well, recent summers have highlighted some of the implications of this increased rainfall, we've seen frequent occurrences of flooding which have caused damage to property and fatalities. We've seen uh, problems in the farming industry and the tourist, tourism industry. Farmers have lost their crops, more people have taken their holidays abroad. Also wildlife has been affected so this really it, it has a big impact on us all. The impacts are not just over Northwest Europe. Actually, in the model, what we find is that uh, the sea ice, whilst it increases rainfall over Northwest Europe, you actually find drier conditions over Mediterranean Europe. And also, the jet stream shifts over North America, so that can have uh, implications for the weather there too. This study only examined the impacts of um, sea ice loss over the past 30 years. We haven't actually looked at the impacts of future sea ice loss, so we can't make predictions of future weather. Um, it's also important to note that the changes in ice are only one factor that will influence our weather and the future conditions will depend on many things. But what we can say is that if sea ice continues to melt as it has done over recent decades, there is an increased risk of wetter summers in the UK and Northwest Europe. Previous work has suggested that European summer climate may be influenced by a, a slow natural cycle of warming and cooling in the North Atlantic Ocean. And since around about the late 1990s, the North Atlantic has been in the warm part of that cycle and that tends to favour wetter conditions over the UK and Northwest Europe in summer. So we think it's probably a combination of both this natural cycle of warming in the uh, North Atlantic and the melting of sea ice that together are contributing to the wetter summers. What we'd like to do now is to look at how uh, future estimates of sea ice may impact our weather and make predictions of how that impacts our climate and whether we can make predictions of future summer rainfall over decades to come.